Nice. It's Minecraft time. You guys ever play that game Minecraft? Oh yeah, they actually have one called Sandbox. This one is similar to Minecraft, except you can actually own different parcels of land and you can actually build on top of that land and monetize with it. We're gonna go ahead and show you guys what's going on with the sandbox. And in today's KuCoin DigiDive, we're gonna be talking about the sand token. If you guys would like to get started trading with this coin, links in the description below so you guys can get 20% off trading fees. All right, so before we get into this project and before we get into sand, now the crypto market and the economy as a whole is seeing a retracement right now. So especially with altcoins, guys, you need to make sure and be careful when investing in different coins. This is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor, but Bitcoin, Ethereum, crypto is risky. So be very careful when you guys are looking at this. Let's go ahead and talk to you guys about what Sandbox is and what it's looking to do. If you guys don't know what Minecraft is, Minecraft is a customizable game where any of the other players or any players playing in the game are able to build anything they want or any lands that they want and let other players play on it. There's a couple of famous YouTubers, like Mr. Beast being one of them, that actually make several different videos on this game, just kind of like playing around uh, in Minecraft and letting other people play on his maps. Let's go ahead and show you kind of what the playing field looks like for Sandbox. So as you guys can see here, this is on the Sandbox map. This is just one of the maps. You can already see that there's actually some people that own big plots of land. Like you see some CryptoPunk holders that actually own pieces and parcels of land. You see CoinMarketCap owning some, Ubisoft, several different names and companies that actually own parcels of land. Now you're thinking to yourself, why would they do this? Well, guys, we are going to be going into a virtual metaverse space, whether it's in the next 5, 10, 15, I don't know. Sometime in the future, we are going to be going virtual. And for the most part, most of it is virtual. Most people spend their time on the phone, on the computer. I mean, you're watching this video now, whereas, I don't know, 20 years ago, 30 years ago, nobody did this thing called YouTube. They would just use the computer for email, and sometimes they use the computer just for computations. So what these companies are doing, like Binance, Ubisoft, or Gemini, Galaxy, these guys are buying these different pieces of land because they can monetize with it. If we go more into the metaverse, they can use this as a advertising space or potentially to where you can come there. And if it's a restaurant, you can order in the burger or the pizza is delivered to you in real life. Yes, that is such a thing already. It's pretty crazy. So let's go and get into the gameplay a little bit to show you guys what's up. I don't have an avatar yet, so I'm going to go ahead and select my avatar and get one set up. This is kind of like a, a little video game. You kind of just play it on your own and you get your own profile guy. You can go on someone, someone's land. You can also own your own land. You do that with the sand token. We'll get into the tokenomics later in this video, but I want to show you guys a little bit what's up. So yeah, I guess we're going to get Andrea and we're going to save the changes and this is going to be our avatar. So that's our new avatar in PFP. You can also do an avatar creator if you want to get creative, but I'm not going to do that. So let's go and go to the map to see what's up. We can literally go to any of these maps and you can click on them and you can play them. You do need to download the client on Windows or Microsoft, depending on which device you have, and you'll be able to play in the game. It'll be similar to Minecraft. You can walk around, build your own stuff, or you can play on other people's maps. If you're wanting to buy different items, you can actually visit this marketplace and you can buy different props, pieces, and people build these things. So if you wanted to build your own, you could actually sell your own NFTs. You can see here you have 980 out of 1000. So let's say for example, if we click on the lucky statue, someone created this statue. This was created by lucky cat. They created this statue. They did 1000 different NFTs and they put it on the open market. And now in order to buy one of these, it costs you 15 sand tokens, which is about a dollar and 20 cents at the time of recording. So you can get this little item and you can use this on your land and on your map. You can also flip it and sell it to someone else, but there's different functions and features inside this game. So if you're the homebody, this could be your type of um, employment where you can build different things and sell them to other people. So it's kind of a play to earn type of feel. Kind of hinted on the sand token a little bit. Um, sand is the utility token that's used through the sandbox game. So this is for buying land, this is for buying items, this is your in-game currency. And there's a finite supply of 3 billion sand tokens. It's actually really liquid. 
the token is. It's on KuCoin, it's on Binance, Upbit, Huobi. And like I mentioned to you guys, you can get 20% off trading fees with the link in the description below. And of course, this is a KuCoin video. So check out KuCoin. All right, so we went over the SAND token. We showed you guys a little bit of the tokenomics. We showed you guys what you can do on the map. And we haven't really dug into the land a bunch. The land is a finite supply. So in order to get this land, like I mentioned, you do have to have the SAND token. What's really cool is when you get that piece of land, you can go ahead and stake your SAND token on top of that land. So you can use that to earn additional sand tokens to buy different items. You can use this for tickets. You can also use this to buy additional parcels of land. So this is a income bearing asset. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys another piece right here, but you can see, you can stake your sand, you can quest, you can get an avatar, different, different items and things that you do inside the game will give you raffle tickets. These raffle tickets will allow you to go ahead and get additional land items so it literally has play to earn written all over this game. And a couple more features of the sand token, I wanna to show you guys them here. First, it's used for governance. Second, you need it for accessing the sandbox platform. So like I mentioned, it's used for utility, for purchasing, playing the games. It's used for assets, lands. It's literally your utility token. So there are some people that buy a piece of land and say, hey, in order to play on my game, you do have to pay a certain amount of sand token. You can do that. You can also stake. You can stake the sand token to earn more sand. There's also a fee capture model. 5% of all the transactions carried through sand in the transaction fees will be given 50% to the staking pool and 50% to the foundation. The foundation is basically the guys who are just pushing and saying, yeah, let's make this, let's do this, let's do this, and encouraging the community to get on. For the most part, it's the community that is building this game. So that's really cool about the sandbox. A couple of features of the sand token that you need to understand. This is how the token is distributed. 17% to the seed sale, 4% to strategic sale, 12% to the launch pad, 12% to the foundation, 25% to the company reserve, 19 to the founders and team, and 10% to the advisors. You can also see the distribution in this circle right here as well. So what do I think about the sandbox game and the sand token itself? I think it's interesting how it's adding play to earn to the Minecraft style game. I used to be a gamer and when I played these games, I used to spend so much time inside these games and I would get nothing out of it. However, with this play to earn style feel and this function, this will allow you to play inside these games and actually earn a revenue source from it. Now, if it's sustainable or if it will last is another story, but being able to play a game where I'd normally play this game I can do this and earn money doing it is a interesting concept. Now, of course, as always, that doesn't mean this game will get adoption. There can always be a new game that's built up. So if this game does get adoption, I think the sand token could do really well. However, competitors can also ride on the coattails of sandbox game and try to steal a, a share of their market. So as always, we will see how it rolls out. I normally like to close all my videos with a wisdom one-liner. This is Proverbs chapter 15, verses one. A gentle answer turns away wrath, but a harsh words stir up anger. Watch your mouth. If you speak angry words, you may have angry words that echo back at you. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching this KuCoin Digi Dive. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like, subscribe, and that bell notification. That way you guys are notified every time we make a new video on KuCoin. And if you guys would like to get started trading, links in the description below. You guys can get 20% off trading fees, baby. And then also I'll leave a link in the description so you guys can access the sandbox game. Play around with it. Make your own avatar. Maybe play around with some land. See you in the next one.